Hey everybody, this is Chris Kelly, Managing Producer of Entertainment for NJ.com, joined once again by our food dude, Pete Genovese, hey. to talk about the week in New Jersey food. Pete, we are in the thick, in the throes of NJ's Best Burger, the search for the state's best burger. People are voting. They are voting, and we've gotten, oh, what, about 50,000 votes so far? 50,000. Uh, 50,000. Uh, Explain the categories. People can vote in one of five different categories. Five categories. We have best restaurant burger, best bar burger, best specialty or veggie burger, best diner deli burger, and best burger joint burger, which is a place that does primarily burgers. So sure. Five categories. You can vote once. Once a day. In each category. So you get five votes a day. Five, five votes, votes a day, day, one in each category through Sunday night. Voting will Sunday. carry on Midnight. through Sunday night. Midnight. Um, Pete, what, we're seeing a lot of action in the restaurant burger category. A lot of voting in that category. Restaurant and bars. Sort of restaurant and bar, bars. And bars, yeah. yeah I'm glad what, uh, what are we seeing? Who's who's leading? Who's doing well? What, what trends are we looking at? Well, there's at? A, a place a lot of people don't know. Uh, Turf and Surf Burger Grill, kind of a newer place. Uh, they do uh, burgers uh, in, in Warren, in, uh, which is Somerset County. Uh, they're leading over White Manor in Hackensack, which is one of the burger uh, restaurant legends and landmarks sure. in New Jersey. It's, it's the, I call it the, the New Jersey's cutest diner. It's literally about this wide, yeah, it's about this, and they make burgers in a grill that's about this big and a little slider burger. So they're they're number two, but this, the fact that this, this place a lot of people haven't heard is number one. That's surprising. Are we looking uh, at different styles of burgers? Is there a certain kind of burger? It's a bigger burger. White mm -hmm. Man, it does, again, the little sliders. Sure. Little company, so you have to order. You're not going to be hungry, or you're not going to be satisfied with just one of those. Sure. People order them by the half dozen or the dozen. Uh, and we've got uh, we're getting some nice Bergen County. Actually, four of the top uh, five in that category are all from Bergen County. The White Man, we have the Black Rebel, and uh, Boom Burger in Rochelle Park. Are there any burgers that uh, that were new to you that are that are breaking through in the voting here? Well, a lot of these places I haven't been to. This, this is why, uh, and then we had some bars too. I mean, a lot of, believe it or not, a lot of the bars I hadn't been to, you know, contrary to this reputation that I might have, uh, <laughs> the, but a lot of the burger places I haven't been to. Turf and Surf, the number one uh, vote getter in the burger category I haven't been to. Uh, in the restaurant category, uh, Shorefire Grill, I haven't been to. Actually, the first two places I haven't been to, Shorefire Grill and the Rail of Renaton and White House Station. So a lot of this is going to be new to me, sort of new burger experience. Any, uh, without without picking out, um, without disparaging unnecessarily anyone, are there any burgers that you were a little surprised to see doing so well? Uh... Well, again, the, the places, the sort of places that have been under the radar, under the burger radar, again, this, this place in, uh, in White House Station, the Rail of Reddington, that's, uh, you know, I mean, sort of uh, the locals know about it, but these are places that really haven't gotten a lot of uh, exposure among burger uh, crazies around the state. Sure. You know, these are, you know, Krug's in, uh, in Newark, where we shot the video uh, last week, they're leading the bar category, uh, or the last time I checked. So everyone knows Krug's, but uh, uh, the places right there, uh, underneath them are much lesser known places. So, and it's good, and which shows you that these places are really into it, just sure. like bars. They're getting the word out on Facebook and Twitter, and Instagram. And we want, we want the, bar, the restaurant Vote, and burger absolutely. Uh, makers to, to encourage their, for for their readers be as creative as possible in getting out and the remember, vote. Remember, only the top five in each category get to the, uh, become the 25 semifinalists, semi and I pick the top of the 25. So, so, so if you don't actually make the, the readers vote, you, there's still a way into yeah, the Yeah, it's not the end of the world. So Pete, let's talk about my favorite category. And by favorite, I mean the category where I would never eat the burger. <laughs> veggie burger. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I like a veggie burger now and again. But uh, uh, what, what, what sort of recommendations are we getting in best veggie burger, best specialty burger, some offbeat choices there? I'm a little surprised that we didn't get more nominations for veggie burgers because a lot of the burgers in that category are specialty meat burgers. Sure. So I'm a, I'm a little So you get a lamb burger yeah, or a tuna lamb, burger or, or something bison, like that. bison, buffalo burger, sure. you know, sort of the exotic... Uh, game meets uh, so we really yeah again disappointed I mean I, I get enough emails throughout the year how come we don't do more vegetarian vegan choices well here's your chance let us know so you need to do make you your think, voice heard here's here. my question do you think the vegetarians are so weakened by the lack of protein in their diet that they couldn't type in a nomination <laughs> that's that's I, him I speaking think, that's the, the views that, of him do not reflect anybody else at this table I mean they're, they're so weary oh they're so sort I of I can see the know, cards and letters uh, well, you know, get voting for your for your. Well, again, and I want to I want to emphasize that if you don't see, now it's a very good chance. Actually, the the, the restaurant leading the uh, veggie category is a veggie burger place in Jersey City. Jersey, uh, Jersey City Veggie Burgers is the okay. name of the place, so they're leading the category, so they're probably going to get in. 
but the next four will probably be uh, specialty meat burger places. But you still have a chance again. You can email me or post on, on, online. Make a case for your favorite place, especially veg or ve uh, veggie burger place or, or any place, to, to convince me to put to include them among my the twenty among my twenty five. Yes. So uh, just because again, if your place does not finish on the top eight, top uh, five, it's not the end of the world. Right. They can still get in. Email me. Post. Go on the comment page. Make a case for your place, especially for the veggie veggie burgers. Because again, I'm really disappointed that there are more. And places. you were doing it. You're doing a little bit of tasting now. You haven't done the, the, the true judging, but you're you're remembering places that you think sure. maybe belong in a semifinal. So there's still time to get to get a to get your get a palate's attention, if you will. Sure. Um, Pete, I, I picked up my copy of New York Magazine this week and there's a giant cow on the cover uh, made out of ground beef. You got to see this cover. It's just like, whoa. <laughs> the cover. Um, and the story is, you know, burgers are, how did the burger become this big deal thing, this gourmet thing, this street thing, this thing that everybody is obsessed with? And they write 4,000 words on this topic. What's That's your answer? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But what's your answer to this question? How did the burger become this thing? Why are we having this burger moment? I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure it's a moment, I, mean, I think it's been here all along, maybe we just haven't noticed it, um, people have made, you know, big deal, I mean, some things are, burgers have gotten bigger, more expensive, and again, a lot of this is, you know, they're reflected in the New York City experience, you know, that you go into New York City, some of these places, $20, $25 for a burger, you know, you try that in, like, New Brunswick, people, you know, they're going to, howls of protest, sure. Uh, so a lot of this is sort of New York City refracted, uh, but I think you know the burgers, uh, you know, restaurants, uh, you know, again, bigger, more specialty, more exotic yeah. uh, meats, you know, the toppings. Well, and it's become a thing where almost every I think sophisticated restaurant feels like they have to have a burger, right. or some kind of fancy sophisticated There's burger. There's so much menu. competition in restaurant business. I mean, it was competition always been there, but so many restaurants opening. You know, the economy's getting better, and people need to separate themselves from the pack. You know, they need to do something different. You need to, you know, put up, you know, put the buffalo burger. Even though you think it's not going to sell, at least put it on the menu, get some attention. Maybe somebody will write about it, and it'll bring more business in. Sure. So I think some of this is a lot of just sort of experimentation, just trying to be novel, trying to stand out. Uh, I think it's, it's parallel to the uh, Neapolitan pizza uh, craze. And all of a sudden, a couple of years ago, pizza has been with, around thousands of years sure. but all of a sudden the last couple of years is explosion of Neapolitan yeah. pizza because they again trying to be different trying to be you know attract a different audience maybe a more sophisticated audience so yeah there's, there's a lot going on so readers can con uh, continue to submit votes one vote a day in each of the five categories until Sunday at midnight on Tuesday we will announce the 50 semi-finalists the places that you are going to visit personally personally, visit, personally eat and at. and go cholesterol crazy at just just bring on the burgers for pizza we're going to announce the 50 semi-finalists on tuesday next week we're also going to announce the uh what are we going to announce we are going to announce <laughs> We're going to announce the competition to be part yes. of the final round. That's what we're going to announce. Yes, that uh, the uh, so the, the Munchmobile, which brings us to Munchmobile. The a lot of people wondering, a lot of anxious people wondering, what's happened to the Munchmobile? Well, it is. It's coming back this summer. We are going to use it in the finalist round. Once we get from fifty, I visit all fifty restaurants and I pick the ten finalists, and then people will get a chance to apply to go a week long. We go two a day, I guess, mm -hmm. for the ten uh, all over New Jersey, and people will apply to get a chance to ride the Munchmobile on those visits. To ride the Munchmobile and join you as yes. you make the final the round of judging. Yes, so. we'll have some company eating those yes. bur those giant burgers that we were talking about. You don't necessarily get a vote, but you can influence the judge a little. You bit. get a bite. You definitely get a you bite. You get a bite. It's more important. Who cares about a vote? You want to eat. Who cares a vote? Yeah. yeah, you get some good burgers, and you get to influence the, the guy who's going to pick New Jersey's best burger. So look for details about how to win a spot on the Munchmobile for NJ's best burger competition starting next week on NJ.com. Um, and then, Pete, what, what else are we going to do with the Munchmobile this summer? Now, once we finish with the 10, uh, play, we visit the 10 finalists, and then, of course, we use the Munchmobile to visit the winner, which would be around the 4th of July weekend, I think we're mm -hmm. talking about. And then two weeks after that, we begin a shortened regular Munchmobile season, which would be, again, the usual the, the usual diversity of dishes that we do, you know, whether it's, uh, and, and people can suggest a categories. Ice cream to pizza. Whatever. To I de definitely like to do ice cream. Uh, you know, it might be pizza out. Pizza pizza out at this point, but pizza's always a category. You can't go wrong with pizza. I we won't folks. do burgers. That's one thing we won't do. We're not going to do burgers. Can I get a lobster roll? 
uh, yeah, seafood is odd. But again, that's uh, that. So that the shortened uh, regular Munchmobile season will commence after the burger uh, episode is done, uh, mid July to the end of August. So and look details, for that. details details coming apply, about how to apply so a place. Two separate Munchmobile. application processes. There. Exactly. So it's a, it's a Pete. This sounds like a real summer of eating for you. Yeah, I need a you know, so that vacation in October, the therapy. You know, I went to Betty Ford. As you little know, detox. After the, I went to Betty Ford after the bar episode. I'm not sure what. I declare a, a lifetime a vegan switch in uh, Labor Day. Go to one of those camps like on The Biggest Loser. Yes. Right. I, bring my they, blood they, pressure yeah. down, bring the weight they down. Ex- they teach how to exercise. Well, I'm a, I am a, you know, I declare myself a loser. I mean, I've declared this before. So, I don't know. Do you expect to put on weight? Uh, I'm gonna, if I do, I'm going to run it off. You know, I do run, so I'm going to have to step up the running regimen uh, definitely over the next week because I'm eating meat nonstop for three weeks. Three, three, a month, really, and then we get into the semifinal. And, and so don't forget, nonstop yeah. don't forget the bacon. Orgy. The bacon and everything, all the sauces, yeah. the, the roll. You know, I got to have the but roll. But I think one of those veggie burgers has, like, diet bacon or vegan bacon. <laughs> there That's disgusting. There he goes again. Just grotesque. Yes. I, um, love, I love veggie burgers. I just want to just, say Just teasing burgers. the vegetarians. All right, so, again, look for all the details about NJ's Best Burger on NJ.com. Until next week, I'm Chris Kelly. Pete Genovese. Take care.